opening with Commitment 2014 coverage and a sinister turn in the political drama that is the Republican battle for U.S. Senate. Now a political blogger and reported backer of State Senator Chris McDaniel is under arrest. The charge, breaking into the assisted living residence of the wife of U.S. Senator Thad Cochran, all to take pictures. 16 WAPT Jennifer Ortega is live outside St. Catherine's Village in Madison with more details. Jennifer. Scott, this is where police say the uninvited photos were taken of Thad Cochran's wife. She has health issues and is cared for here. The man who took the pictures is a political blogger. 28 year old Clayton Thomas Kelly is charged with a felony exploitation of a vulnerable adult. He was arrested Friday, accused of sneaking into St. Catherine's village and it's taking photos of the bedridden woman. The story is now national headlines in what is one of the most closely watched races in the country. The political website Breitbart has a photo of the suspect and Chris McDaniel together. The McDaniel camp says it had nothing to do with the act or the suspect. Political analyst Matt Friedman says it's already adding to a strange and heated Senate race. Uh, Thad Cochran's um, wife's whereabouts, who is she, what she look like, anything about her, we don't know anything about her. How often does Thad Cochran steal in to see his wife? If you're in Washington, D.C. and your wife is back in Jackson, is that an appropriate thing? No one's going to do that. No one should do that. That is inappropriate. Nonetheless, uh, I think in these campaigns, some kind of strange things happen the last few weeks, particularly if it's heated campaign. In response to Politico, Cochran's campaign released a statement saying Senator Cochran's first concern was that the safety of his wife, as well as the invasion of her privacy and dignity. McDaniel's camp tweeted earlier today about the incident. This type of action has no place in politics whatsoever and will not be tolerated. Now, Clayton Kelly is being held at the Madison County Detention Center with a $100,000 bond. Live in Madison, Jennifer Ortega, 16 WAPT News. All right, thanks a lot, Jennifer.